Hi guys, welcome back to Honest Straightforward Reviews. Today I have a comparison between the BioPlay HX by Bang & Olufsen's against the Sony WH-1000XM4's. Before I continue, I'd like to let you guys know that this channel completely survives on your subscriptions. So if you want to see more videos and support my work, all you have to do is subscribe, watch my videos and like them. I'd like to let you guys know that this video is going to be segmented in a few sections. First of all, I'll be comparing the unboxing experience. And if you want to see the true unboxing where these headphones are in their shrink wrap, you can check up on the top right hand corner after which I'll be doing a comparison of the cases and the headphones themselves and what you get inside them. Then I'll be speaking about the app or lack of and the features you get. I'll further talk about the design, the comfort, the noise cancellation, transparency mode and in the end I'll be talking about sound. After which I'll be giving you guys my verdict. Now let's look at the Sony first of all. The Sony box to, to my taste is a bit too much information I think but they're very easy to open up all you do is they have a side slide that's basically it and then you open it up and you have the Sony headphones right in front of you and you get the paperwork in there as well now the HX are similar so again a bit too much information Inside you'll see soft cushioning and you'll get the case and once you remove the case all you get basically is the paperwork. Let's look at the cases. The case for the Sony it does look and is smaller than the Bang & Olufsen's. Now the Sony's, the reason they are smaller is not only do they bend inwards but they swivel as well whereas the Bang & Olufsen's only turn inside but they don't actually twist and close so they have a larger footprint. However the box is nice and flat both of them okay as you can see but the Sony's are considerably small. People who will be traveling would consider that it's also got a loop that this guy doesn't have. The Sony also comes with a little pouch on the back. Let's give them an open up. The Sony's have a pinkish rose gold zipper and very high quality. I actually like the Sony's zip the best out of all these headphones that I test. They're very easy, elegant to open up. Once you open them up, the best feature that I like about the case with the Sony's are this little thing over here. Okay, it also has a bit of a compartment as well where you have all your things. The reason I like is you, this doesn't come out, it's part of the case and it protects your headphones being banged around inside, which is very useful when you buy expensive ex headphones. This comes with a very short USB C to USB charger a flight adapter and a 3.5 to 3.5 headphone jack. Both of these cases are in fabric. Let's give this guy an open so the zip isn't too impressive and opening it is quite flimsy as well as you guys can see. It can get stuck, it wasn't as smooth as the Sony's. Looking at the case, it's got a nice little cutout here. It sits nicely inside the case. Looking at the case, you get a hidden compartment where you've got the USB to USB-C charging and 3.5 to 3.5 headphone jack. HX have superseded the H9 and they have dropped the airplane adapter. So you do not get an airplane adapter in these. Let's talk about the app. The HX app by Bang & Olufsen are quite basic. You can turn on auto pausing so when you take them off they pause. Sony does that as well. They both got the same feature. Other than that you can software update it and you can have some moods where you can customize it to podcasts or warmth or cold and things like that which are preset 
whereas the Sony's they really let you play around with their headphones you can see what it's connected to you can have ambient noise you can have adaptive ambience as well and actually look at it you can have adaptive ambience according to your location so at the gym it'll have a different level of noise cancellation or or transparency mode and at home it'll be different at your office it'll be different it can be based on location the noise cancellation comes with wind reduction it's got a lot of other features like dsee -E and lidac which is really good which is sony's kodaks for the other than that they all have the same kodaks what the sony lacks is the apxt kodak which the hx does but sony makes up for that with the LDAC Kodak. Both of them have Bluetooth 5.1 with a fantastic range and battery life. The Sony give you 30, whereas these guys give you 35 hours of battery life. Personally, I prefer the Sony when it comes to comfort. I like the oval shaped ear cups. Let's talk about noise cancellation. They do a phenomenal job, both of them. I cannot fault their noise cancellation in any way, shape or form. Now, one thing I would like to talk about is with noise cancellation, you'll notice that a lot of time when you have noise cancellation on headphones on and you go through a noisy area, and the noise cancellation is working really hard you might notice that your music gets quite muffled and gets suppressed and you will notice that with these more than those the sony's do a much better job when it comes to that it does happen don't get me wrong it does happen but the hx really you can start noticing it especially what if you turn off noise cancellation and listen to these headphones in a quiet room you'll feel they're really good but as soon as you turn on noise cancellation it just reduces that music quality whereas sony do a marvelous job sony has a bass centric profile so it's focused on bass it's quite bass heavy and bassy the h9 that these guys superseded were bass heavy as well the hx aren't so much they're going more towards the neutral form factor so they're quite neutral in my experience but do not get me wrong they're both very clear for all the instruments except for noise cancellation when the noise cancellation comes on for these guys i do feel the music drops a tiny bit and it's clarity it lets the clarity go when it comes to transparency mode both of them have a very good feature with the transparency mode they work really well i have heard when it comes to phone calls that the sony's aren't that good i have tried the sony's maybe you need to do a firmware upgrade i've got the latest firmware on them and i have never had an issue answering phone calls on either of these they're very very good for both of them let's talk about sound so the sound as i have been saying they're quite clear and crisp both of them except for when noise cancellation is on so i feel like i have to give because these headphones market themselves as headphones that are made for noise cancellation i would have to give this battle for sound to sony's because they do a remarkable job when the noise cancellation is turned on okay guys there you have it that's it from me so for my verdict, I would go with the Sony's any day. The Sony's are around 400 Australian dollars, whereas these guys cost 880. You can get two Sony's for that price and still have $80 left. The only way I'll be recommending the HX are if you are absolutely sold on the design and the material being used. Other than that, I would definitely go for the Sony's because they're just so much better for noise cancellation. They're so much better when it comes to music, the comfort and everything like the app that you get. The app really does a marvelous job at complementing the Sony's. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching it to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do comment below and let me know which of these headphones would you go for and why. Thank you so much. Take good care. Bye-bye.